Hey guys, in this short video, I want to discuss with you why correcting a progesterone and thyroid deficiency might be contributing to weight gain and what you can do about it. So one of the major imbalances that we discuss frequently on the YouTube channel at the root of most health issues is a thyroid deficiency in hormonal imbalances such as estrogen dominance or generally having too many stress hormones being produced compared to the protective androgen hormones such as progesterone and testosterone. And normally when you correct these issues, your health restores. However, one thing that tends to occur in people that have had a long-term thyroid and progesterone deficiency is that once they start to correct these deficiencies, they start to notice some subtle weight gain. And so naturally they look at this as a negative and think that whatever it is that they're doing is not working and they kind of want to resort back to where they were before. However, I want to clarify exactly what's happening in this particular situation where let's say you are gaining some weight, but you have ultimately started to improve your health. And specifically speaking, if you've had a thyroid deficiency, so hypothyroidism and a progesterone deficiency, which usually go hand in hand, why you might be gaining weight, although you might not necessarily want to be gaining that weight. Now, this is something that is actually quite common, something I've experienced firsthandedly and something that I see in just about every client or person that I work with with that I'm trying to help correct these specific imbalances. And there's actually a very simple and short explanation for this and some things that you can do to start correcting it or at least to manage it while you're going through it. But before we get into that, let's just quickly cover the confusion that most of you are probably facing or dealing with. And that is, why is it that I'm gaining weight although I'm supposed to be improving my health? You would think that because progesterone and thyroid hormone are essential for good metabolic function, that if you were to correct these imbalances, that your weight would go to a more ideal range, and if anything, you would lose unnecessary weight. Well, this is going to be the case for most people, because conditions like estrogen dominance, where there's an excess of estrogen and usually deficiency of progesterone and thyroid hormone, are going to slow down the overall metabolic rate, slow the pulse rate and the body temperature, which is going to result in your body going into more of a stressed state, causing your body to hold on to fat. Not only because your body is not as efficient at metabolizing the food you're eating, causing a greater accumulation of fat storage, but also because of the stress of hypothyroidism and a progesterone deficiency, your body tends to hold on to fat as a sort of backup reserve of energy when your body's not making it efficiently itself. So you would think that correcting a progesterone deficiency or a thyroid deficiency would result in weight loss, and it normally does. Remember that progesterone is essential for the production of thyroid hormone and its secretion, and both progesterone and thyroid are essential for having a high rate of metabolism so your body can break down and metabolize your food and turn it into energy, preventing fat storage and ultimately helping your body stay in a balanced, healthy weight. However, there is a certain type of person, I tend to be that person, and there are other people that notice that under hypothyroidism and a progesterone deficiency, that they become thin. So I've noticed in my personal experience that there's two basic types of responses to stress. There's the person that starts to waste away and lose weight, and then there's the person who starts to accumulate fat. And there's very simple explanations for this actually. And one of them is that during a progesterone deficiency, your body starts to rely more heavily on the production of cortisol. And cortisol can actually mimic a high rate of metabolism. It can drive up the rate of metabolism or the rate you break down your food. It can also increase the body temperature, the pulse rate, the heart rate. But over the long run, what happens is that cortisol actually starts to catabolize the protein or the muscle tissue in your body. So in other words, people that experience weight loss under the stress of a progesterone deficiency and hypothyroidism are actually not losing just fat, but also muscle. And this is a very stressful process on the body and it can contribute to a whole host of issues. It can contribute to diabetes-like symptoms because as the cortisol becomes very high and you start to waste away muscle, your body starts to liberate more fatty acids, which can impair insulin receptors and cause diabetic-like conditions. Not to mention you just generally are wasting seen away and you have a difficult time putting on muscle, which can result in metabolic issues all over the place. So you can generally start to experience the symptoms of metabolic syndrome, although you are losing weight. So what tends to happen with these types of people is that once they start to correct their progesterone deficiencies and their hypothyroidism is that their body, as it starts to recalibrate and rebalance and the 
thyroid turns up and the progesterone goes up, the adrenals start to turn down and the cortisol starts to turn down. So you go from this very stress-driven state, which was resulting in a high rate of metabolism and, and muscle wasting more than it was fat loss or weight loss. And now that your body's not relying on these stress hormones and the adrenal activity, your body, as it again starts to rebalance and recalibrate, might start to hold on to a little bit of extra weight than normal for protective reasons. According to your body, weight loss and fat loss and relying on the adrenal system is a stress state. It's an emergency state. So once you start to shut that stress state off and get back into a normal energy producing state, your body's going to hold on to a little bit of extra energy as again it recalibrates and rebalances. So the weight gain is not necessarily going to be permanent and in some cases gaining some weight is not necessarily a bad thing. A lot of the people that tend to experience thinness from hypothyroidism and progesterone deficiency tend to be underweight but maybe they're just used to being underweight and thin so usually the weight that is being gained through correcting these hormonal imbalances is usually muscle mass but I noticed that this is more of an issue for women than it is men. So me in particular, when I had, you know, hypothyroidism, progesterone deficiencies, and these hormonal imbalances, whenever I'm stressed in general, my body tends to become thinner and I lose muscle mass. So for me in correcting these issues, I was able to regain my muscle mass rather effortlessly. And this was a good thing for me. But I think women who are a bit more sensitive around weight gain start to feel that they're becoming unhealthy or that they're gonna just become fat and overweight or obese. So my tip is to just understand that this is a recalibrating period, it's an adjustment or grace period, and it's not gonna stay forever. But in the case that you do start to accumulate excess weight, you know, three months after, or if you just are continually gaining weight, then you might wanna consider some other factors, such as your general calorie intake, your macronutrient intake, and even certain micronutrient deficiencies might be at the root of the weight issues. But if you're adhering to an entire or complete thyroid protocol, as we teach in our healthy weight loss course, you shouldn't really experience any of these issues. And at worst, you just might again experience this subtle grace period where you're going from underweight to gaining back a healthy amount of weight. So the good news is that if you're correcting the thyroid issue though, over the long term, your body is going to more effortlessly maintain a healthy weight. So the thyroid hormone is essential for glucose and fat metabolism. Without a healthy thyroid, your body is going to ultimately run into weight issues, whether that's a weight loss issue or the inability to gain weight or a weight loss issue in the sense that you have the inability to lose weight. So in either case, as long as you're focusing on that thyroid and giving it the adequate nutrition and you're adhering to a low stress diet and lifestyle, then over time as your thyroid function restores, especially if you're correcting the progesterone deficiency at the same time, then you're just going to find that weight loss is going to be rather effortless. So these are principles that we talk about in depth in our healthy weight loss course, how to lose weight effortlessly without intense dieting, starvation, any sort of strict, weird dietary protocols, and instead just support your body's natural abilities to maintain and achieve a healthy weight. So if you wanna learn more about healthy weight loss and how to correct these things, definitely again, be sure to check out our healthy weight loss course, which you can find in the description box below. However, that does bring this video to a close. So if you've enjoyed it and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't yet already. If you're interested in learning more beyond this video and our YouTube channel, remember we do have a blog, an online wellness academy, and an online tonic herb shop, all which you can find in the description box below.